everyone. Assalamu alaikum. So today we have another person on our book chat and that's Zainab Ansari. So I have interviewed Zainab in the past for my author interview series and Zainab is back with a new book and this one is a solo poetry book. So I am really, you know, I really want to talk about Zainab because she's a person who really inspires me. So she's a contributor of 62 anthologies and she started writing these anthologies she started contributing from 2019 and this one is 2022 and she's already at 62. So I'm sure she has broke, broken one or two records already. We have to check <laughs> the Limka book of record or the Guinness book of records or we have to get her registered. So maybe after this show, she will find out. And she also has a podcast. But today we are here especially to talk about her new book. And the name of the book is She uh the sultana right yes she's the sultana and the previous one of the same anthology collection is she sultana the queen so welcome zanab thank nice you so much after, yeah after i don't know almost a year now we met in yeah 2021 <laughs> it's 2022 and it's already halfway through we are you know, like the spring is here and somewhere down the lane will be summer is gone and then the window, the year is finished. I was like, okay, it just started. I felt like January was yesterday and we're already yes. about to enter April. So, mashallah. Yeah, it's, it's very fast. fast. So, Zena, tell you us so more much. about your book. I was so excited when I saw like the new book is launched. So, I'm like, okay, let's talk. Yeah. So it's called as She the Sultana. And my writings have always been phasal. Phasal in the sense, every moment, every uh, phase of my life have something to do with it. So the first one that I wrote, the solo one was uh, Sultana, the Queen of the Unbroken. This one is She the Sultana is like an overcoming, the power meant how did you heal? That was like a healing journey. Now, this one is a healed journey. And within the book, it's I've left pages where people can read and they can make notes. Like maybe they have read a poem and they like it and they want to write something, what uh, the words inspire them or something that connects. And there's a page just beside it so they can jot down points. Wow. And that's one. Yeah. So that's something. Nice, uh, nice. It's getting worldwide in mid of April. Right now, it's only available in India. But mid April, it will be available all over the world. Mid April is all over the world. And right now, yeah. it's available in India already. On which platform? Yeah. Or? It's Amazon. Amazon. Okay. Yeah. Great. I'll check on KDP. <laughs> can do. <laughs> Yeah, actually, uh, I had done this long before, but due to COVID and the publishing houses, people getting sick and there's so much of issues, we had to got postponed it. But I think it's sometimes the right time is just, you know, you know, like the universe is working like, okay, boom, this is the time for you. Yeah, that's it. That's, you know, the time is right when it is right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, now tell us more about the two sultanas. Are they same or the different people in the two books? Well, it's more of poetry of what my feelings and emotions, but as me, when I wrote back in 2020, that was the first sultana, I was more of understanding, going through a lot of life issues, struggles. We all go through that. And right now, it was like December 2021. Um, I have found contentment in my life. Peace, alhamdulillah and mashallah. Because finding peace, this mind, soul, heart connection, it's a very different platform and a very different thing. So this Sultana is a bit different. That one was struggling, healing on the journey. This Sultana, that's still me, but a new me, a new version of me. Yeah, it's the empowered Sultana. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's okay. I mean, these are different phases, right? We all go through. But to jot down what you're feeling through and then, you know, yeah. to compare, okay, I was here last year yeah. and I'm here now. And then next I year, maybe the next new Sultana maybe this year itself wow or That's maybe amazing. something maybe i have a few uh, you know like ideas rolling in my head i've already 
talking to my mom that you know like maybe i'll do this maybe a children's book story book something like that that's so, a cute idea actually <laughs> yeah so there are a lot of ideas that are yeah. rolling so let's see what thing goes on which direction no i'm really happy for you and but tell me you know with what speed you ride is the speed of the light <laughs> no it's just um it sometimes it just trucks you know like i'm sitting somewhere or maybe in my room or working and there's some words that are just flowing and i just mm-hmm. jot it down whenever the mood strikes or whenever i feel like words are there emotions i just jot it down and later on i see how they transform how can i change it into a piece okay that's so yeah idea. yeah so i yeah. have because sometimes i have the... inspiration but then i'm in the middle of the meeting and then by the time it's gone when i finish the meeting i'm like okay yeah it was a nice idea but it's a good idea just to scribble and jot it down you know and then you can build around it my my workstation has this small chip my papers so i have to write my daily routine and things and sometimes these words and these phrases this come and i just jot it down and sometimes i have these paper balls that are for my cat so my my table is all around with paper i have to see which one so yeah it's depending on what strikes you that's the way no i'm really you know i wanted to talk about this thing that you know uh the inspiration behind and how do you do it so i like this idea that okay we all get inspired we have ideas just scribble or jot it down somewhere and then yeah. come because back because most of the things that i feel is the with not just my life experiences like i do have acquaintances i have very few who i call my family as friends who i call family but i am i'm a very i'm a person who's very close i don't open up so easily but the ones that who i open up to then that's a different you know that's a different zen of all together so i at times absorb their energies and then use those words write it down accordingly no marshal i'm really so happy for you you know how it's going thank you thank you going, your energy is marshal and the poem and you know it's like also i feel like i could relate to a lot of poem because they're very women centric you know like they yeah. are so much also like contemporary yes at times when i read others work i am I'm like wow it's like you know my mouth is agape and i'm like they write so beautifully but i prefer to use simple wordings that's something that i prefer my words are very simple i don't overuse of too many collocations too many hard words i don't want people to read my works and go and look at the dictionary they would not do that i just want simple things that can a normal person a normally educated literate person can read and maybe yes this is what i was looking at and this is something that connected with me that's me when i was small i'll tell you sana uh, i always had this dream that there's going to be a cabin and it's between the forest and i still envision that there's a window and that time when i was small we had typewriters you know i have a typewriter i'll write down my book and being a writer had always been there and i started writing at the age of 6 so you could say 30 years of writing on and off on different platforms and it's like a dream come true for me Yeah, so yeah. So it's amazing. I mean, and I could relate to so many poems and you know, I love your style and you know how sometimes I just need that thing that day, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm like, "Oh, I just wanted to read that today." So I think a lot of people can relate to it, you know. Sometimes, you know, Allah is putting you into different things, okay, you know. Yes. So you get to get hear what you want to hear and read what you want to read. So yes. I really like the women centric themes they're very relatable mm. they're very contemporary and as you said your style is very simple and mm. words are not too heavy and yeah because I, yeah, it, and they also like a balance should be there you know so I always feel like it's flowing the poetry flows so it really flows yeah. out from your pen so we can feel yeah, that I just so. I just put myself in that scenario that situation or whatever the words are there i actually like it's like a it's like a movie that's in my head that's going on and i'm writing it down 
and the reason why i write more of women is because women i believe not much not many of them have a voice there are so many women out there empowered women but still there are like millions who don't have a voice you know that even can sigh so i feel that me i use this platform to make a point no it's i really support your idea and you know i believe in that too do you have something for us do you want to read for us yes yes i do have uh, one from the new book something i'll just read it out uh okay so this one is called as uh, pores of excellence and it goes like this this is the first piece of the book her origins and aura are very simple and humble the fear in her has broken the chains of self sacrifice she has learned to leap and fly with the wings of courage that have a scent of gratitude lingering in the glory pores of her excellence and there's a small bird there drawn there on that page oh, i love it yeah it's like like i'm a bird okay i was in caged and at times your own prejudice sometimes you sacrifice yourself for the happiness of others you don't do it for people pleasing but you put their value on top of yours and you become suffocated in in you know like yeah. caged and right now i feel like it's like a breakthrough it's like i've broken all the chains and i just flew out of being me it's me me and me and i always tell you know sometimes people condemn you that you know you have moved on with life things or you've changed transformation and that's selfish and it's wrong if you don't change you don't transform and heal you are going to hurt yourself and you're going to bleed on the others who love you so we need to change that's why i've always connection you know every full moon i'll tell you sana every full moon that's my like a ritual every month every full moon i find myself connecting with the moon okay it's like i have this thing that i take bath i sit i enjoy the uh, weather the moon the transformation look at it and i say ki okay this is me and i have changed my phases and i have to love and you know like take care of myself so yeah No I wish you all the best and you keep shining you. like that full moon Zana and keep connecting to the moon you know and the phases Thank you. and it's very symbolic you know of the person on the yes. he has phases and then he's high and then it goes down so yeah that uh, metaphor thank you i might try to welcome you <laughs> No, no, you should, you know, I, whoever I meet, I usually tell them that every, it won't, at first it won't resonate, but every full moon that you have have three days. So what you do is three to four days every night. And usually I'm somebody who loves to take a shower early in the morning. And before I go to bed, it's like a ritual. So I take a warm shower and while I'm having this warm shower, I make all my Islamic duas. I do spiritual talking to myself that, you know, as this new phase this new moon has come it's phasing is changing i am changing let all the negativity as the water is flowing let all this negativity flow out from me and i scribble and you know, like i scrub myself and it's like a new thing it's it's what your heart wants you can talk to your heart no it's beautiful i do sometimes as well you know talk to myself and use metaphoric symbols you know just to and it works it really works in the mind because your mind believes what you say and what you do so for it it is true you know what yes. you believe in that's the truth for your mind so i really like it and i hope that the people will find a lot of gems in the discussion and they can take away and they will find hopefully back. yeah and a lot of life yes. poems and they could relate to it and audience check out the books and the poetry and all anthology of zenab thank you she's an inspiring lady and i will put up her links for instagram yes. as well and you can connect with her as well so thank you zenab <laughs> thank so you so much for you. having me yeah thank see you, you soon bye bye <laughs>